today we're taking a look at the text source and as you can see we already have one here but let's delete it for the sake of this tutorial and add a new one so if we right click and add there is another text type in the deprecated section but let's go ahead and use the text gdi plus this is the new one and this is what we should be using so we'll go ahead and we'll add a new one new tutorial test okay and we can either type or read from a file so if we read from a file i'll browse and should have one in stream labels here and let's see something we definitely have so let's get most recent follower here and alpha is my most recent follower and the text is here so let's increase the size so that's reading from a file or if i tick it off as with all sources it retains the history but if i tick it off i can type so this is a test typed out there and there we go now this is scaled up we can do many things here so we can select the font and when we select the font we can change many things so I'll go ahead and I'll find my Lato font, which is from Google, and that's there. I can strike out, I can underline, I can use different writing systems, in our case I'll leave it any. We can choose the font style, so bold, semi-bold, light, let's go with bold, and size. Now size 36 is the default, we can go to 72, press OK, it has grown substantially, because it's a scaled up 72. Now, the way I like to do it, if you're scaling up text, scaling down is not much of a problem, but scaling up can be an issue. So what I do is I actually type a size here. Let's say we want 150 size, press OK. And as you can see, that's even if I extend the size of it, it's less of an issue. So if I want large text, for some reason, I flipped it over and I know what I did. If I do that, it flips. I'll do that again. If you do that, it flips. If you pull it again, it flips. Now, what we can do as well is transform the case into all uppercase, regardless of what we do. So if, say, we're picking from a file, we want everything to be uppercase. If we want everything to be lowercase, none will leave us default. Vertical will give us vertical text. We can change the color here. So say we want an orange, we can change it to an orange. If we want to change the opacity, we can change the opacity as well. If we want to have a gradient, there's a gradient. So we have the first color and a gradient color. So say I want pink. That handles the gradient. We can do the gradient opacity as well. The gradient direction, as you can see. Or remove it entirely or if I want it back we'll add it and it will retain the history of it as with all other OBS components background opacity we can have a background there if we want the default color is black then we can remove it you can change color so I want blue and that's there alignment we can do center right or left but that really depends on our text so you might have to have a play around with the alignment if you have say a paragraph it's most likely not the case but you would have to have a play around with that and vertical alignment is the alignment as well when you have a block of text actually we may have a little test here two three four and paste there so we have a bigger one paste there as well we'll put that there as you can see that's our center alignment so everything's centered everything is on the right vertical alignment let's do bottom might have to add a few things let's do that might have to resize it a bit Let's check the vertical alignment. Actually, that's my bad. The vertical alignment would be that alignment, probably. Yep. That's the vertical alignment. So, apologies for that. This alignment is for when it's regularly laid out. And this alignment here is for when it's set up as a vertical alignment. We can also set an outline. 
and this gives us outline properties. Right now you can see that it's a white outline. We can also do black, which is usually the normal outline. We can change the outline opacity as well, as well as the outline size. So we can grow the outline if we want a large one. We can use a chat log mode, which shows the bottom parts. And you could use custom text extents, so that allows us to have custom sizes for a box. And wrap means it wraps it around the box. So that depends when you're using custom text extents. You'll have to check your text, and if you have dynamic text, chat lock mode will have a chat limit. So this is when you have something that's uh, scrolling or a lot of text coming up. You can reduce the amount of lines. It's over there. And there are more, more, and more things you can do. And if we read from file, as you can see, it retains everything. There are more, more, more things you can do with the transform function, but the transform function applies to all sources. And we'll be seeing that at some point in one of the technical videos. Actually, not in the technical videos, in one of the set of videos. And that has been the tutorial for text files. In the next video, we'll be checking out how to manage source groups. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. If you have any queries, as always, please leave them in the comments or find me live on Twitch. See you in the next one.